Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. And there we go. Alrighty then. So, I didn't do much between episodes. Haven't really felt like playing for the last couple of days. So, I'm kind of lost track of what I was doing, but I think I was getting ready to set up our first significant auto craft. So, we're going to need to make some mechanical artisans. Yes, they're over there on my memorized list. So, that means that we're going to need to make a bunch of these basic workshops, and including... Ah, hello, Mr. Fancy Schmancy. Hello, always lovely to see you here. Yes, I'm just contemplating setting up our first mechanical artisans. And uh, to do that, I'm going to need to make myself another basic workshop. Just for... Uh, we might as well have a dedicated one for each new significant liquid. And yeah, we have some tinder saved up, so we'll just make however much we can out of that. So I'm just going to need a crap ton of masonry bricks. Not really measuring anything at this point, you know? Just kind of making whatever supplies I have on stock. So... Uh, what'll that get us? Five. Eh, we can do a bit better than that. Do we have any... Yes, we do. All right. Just make everything that we can. I love having everything on autofill. Hello, 12th Century Fox. Lovely to see you here. And that's looking like I need to make myself some more brick. Well, that's a nice, easy task. Did I throw some in here at any one time? No, it doesn't look like I did. Let's just... Throw a couple of stacks onto the pyre. Might as well. We have this lovely semi-automated system. We might as well take advantage of it. And... That'll just immediately start filtering down into stone for us. Which we can then just cycle on into here. Make sure it does all the cobble first. Just make us a nice ton of bricks. Hmm. I'm running the diesel gen right now. What am I running it for? I'm probably running it for the copper pump jack that I finished installing, like, close to the end of last episode. Yeah. So we're letting our copper stocks build up a little bit. That's sensible. I don't remember where I found those. I honestly wish I could tell you. I think that maybe they might have been from something on the initial platform. Maybe? I don't know. I'll have to go back through my, through my old episodes and see if I can find where I picked those up. Because, yeah, that is that is definitely something that I've been wondering myself. Where the hell did I find those? All right. And now I am going to need an utter butt-ton of refractory brick, as well as probably some more pulp. Yeah, I'm probably going to need more pulp. Uh, do I have any soaking basins anywhere in storage? I could set up a real quick automation for some pulp. If I do... Where would they be if they were anywhere in here? I imagine I moved them out of the old base. Uh, I mean, technically no, but... I, I No, wait, yeah, they, they both cost the circuit plate, don't they? And what does a lever cost? Come on, J-E-I. Yeah, they are pretty much just as expensive. The only, the only thing, uh, I mean, I guess a lever is slightly more expensive because that impregnated stick means you're dealing with another liquid on top of everything else. Uh, but no. If I brought over the soaking basins, where would they be? Well, let's go back to the old base and see if I did, in fact, grab those soaking basins. But yes, they both make use of that damn circuit plate, which is... Those circuit plates are why I can't make comparators, or why I can't make buttons, or why I can't make 
anything until I have... Yeah, yeah, I've... Yeah, where did they all go, I wonder? I mean, it's not like soaking basins are particularly expensive to make. And I could, of course, always just throw a bunch of wood on the uh, sawmill, but then again, that would be a very slow process. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the other thing. We're going to see how our uh, locking system in this one works. Like, I mean, this middle one should be partially ready to trigger. Come on, game. Why are you? I'm, I am getting a load of lag spikes today. Yeah, so it's just waiting on diesel to be full. And then I should see that the system will begin turning on and off the distillery tower. Hmm. I have no idea where my soaking be. You know, I should. I keep forgetting this feature exists. Are they maybe over here? Ah, there they are. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, let's just make the whole damn stack of them. I should have a couple of wooden hoppers in my storage, shouldn't I? And not enough to automate all of them. Let's just make four. That's a bit excessive anyway. And then I should have some sugarcane stored up in the lava machine now that it's been idle for a little while. Maybe I need to make a more convenient walkway around there. But yeah, there's a little bit of sugarcane in this system. So we'll just kind of... Nah, we'll do this right here. So we'll grab a couple of fluid pipes. We'll grab a couple of hoppers, a chest. And we'll just make it a single chest. So right there. And then I forgot my hoppers. I'm going to need eight of them. Just going to two, three, four. It's uneven, but who really cares? One, two, three, four. And then just... Hmm. You know, I could make a final layer up of them above. Yeah, that would make it easier loading. And then four, just like that. Okay, so now I just need to link the water system in. We should see those start to fill up. Good. And now I just make a nice input chest for it, which actually I could do that off of this already. Yeah, I could. Okay, so if I go off of this, then I'm out of transport pipe. Huh. Easy enough to fix. Do I have any spare in here? Technically, yes. But practically, no. Uh, I have a bit of gold. Just make me some. There we go. All right, so then I can take a little bit of transport pipe off of here, and our ultimate goal will be here. And we're going to need to make a couple of conditions on this one, because I want the priority to be to the lava machine always. So then if I take my gates, going to need at least two gates on this end, going to need a bunch of pipe wire, also going to need a piece of white wire, because I'm going to need a knot condition on this. So our first one will be if contains less than 25% send white signal. So then, also I'm going to need a pulser, of course. On this side, have the other gate, and on the top just 
Oh, this needs to be an extraction pipe. How silly of me. Last one of those. Need to make some more of those. All right, so bolts are on the top. Piece of white wire. Gate. Yes, thank you. It, unless you're wondering. Um, build craft pipes are each built to purpose. So um, these gold transport pipes are just for moving items from place to place. They can't pull items out of inventories. You need these. Uh, you need either wood pipes or my preferred wood diamond pipes for that. So, and on this one, we're also going to have blue signal coming in. So this one is going to say when blue signal is on and white signal is off, it needs to be an AND gate. Derp. Have I discovered any way of pulling a damn gate off without breaking the whole damn pipe? I don't think I have. Yeah. Oh, no. It's, it can be done. You just need to be very specific. That's mm, unfortunate. I don't have building blocks on me, do I? No, we'll just jump down for it. Where did it go? Ah, it ended up in my inventory, one way or another. Oh, look at that. I think I just saw a pulse of blue. Okay, it's, it's draining gasoline now, but the next time it drains diesel, um, we should see that this thing begins pulsing the uh, distillery on and off. Yeah. Okay, so... Da, 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 da. Okay, where was I? Right, needs to be an AND gate on this one. So this is going to say, when blue signal is on and when white signal is off, pulse the pipe. So then we need to run our blue wire up and we're going to need one more gate on this end. On the, on the uh, receiving end, I should say. Uh, so what, what our conditions here on this one mean are... Um, because white signal is only on when the container is less than 25% full, and because this is looking for when white signal is off, this means that if the chest is drained to below 25% full, then it will stop draining out in this direction, whereas this other direction is just um, looking for if blue signal, which is just if there is room in the output inventory. So the lava machine will always have priority. The uh, paste machine that we're making will only drain it down until this chest is 25% uh, full, and then it will wait for it to fill up more. And if the lava machine starts draining it, it will effectively turn off. And on this one, we just want to say, if you contain less than 75%, turn blue signal on. Turn blue signal on, I should say. Yep, and that turns the pipe pulser on. But we'll see that if we drain the chest down, it turns off. And on this other direction, if we take the sugarcane out of there, that direction still goes. And now we should see that because of the way we laid out our hoppers, once this first one fills up all the way, which will take a little while, it'll begin filling up this one, then this one, then this one, and eventually that should result in paste all being produced into this chest. I'm just gonna let one craft of paste go through to make sure that it's happening. Uh, no, you can't wrench them off. But yes, here we go. We have pulp, I should say, not paste, appearing in our chest. So we have a very slow but idle pulp automation here built really quickly just for when we want to go pick it up for crafting purposes every once in a while. 
And look at this. The distillery is being shut off, and now it's beginning to build up crude oil because it's not running all the time. Excellent. That's exactly what we wanted to see. And that should mean that eventually our pump jack producing crude oil will shut off as well. And then we'll be only using little trickles of power. If I only had a comparator to put on this diesel engine, I would be very, very happy right now. We would be very power efficient. But we are working our way up to comparators still. So why did I open that? Uh, all right, right, right. Next up, we are going to need to make us some refractory bricks. That's why I want to pulp, because we need the brick form of the brick. Yes. So I just got all my quick limes over here from a batch of refractory bricks I made earlier, as well as some bricks that are already in there. And what have I got in here? Oh, I've already got a bunch of slake lime. It's crushed flint that I'm short on. Uh, where am I keeping my flint? Yeah, you might be thinking of, um, you might be thinking of Thermal Dynamics Crescent Hammer. I think that will strip, uh, servos off of, off of item ducts. That would be my guess. All right, so make a couple of these. Make a couple of those. Make a bunch of these. Need to make more clay. Don't have any clay. And eh, let's use the squeezer. That'll be faster. Really, I should probably port the... Well, I'm... No, I shouldn't make the fountain for this. But yeah, let's see here. Do I have any spare barrels? There we go. Let's just cart some clay over. And uh, thermodynamics is in the pack. Thermal dynamics is indeed in the pack. We will have item ducks eventually. But uh, yeah, let's see here. Here's where we are. And we've been here for a while because I, I could do this quest progression. I just want to build more infrastructure first. Uh, we have this chapter. We have this beast of a chapter, which like this is rock hounding chemistry getting up into getting to the moon. Uh, we're going to get applied energistics. And only after that, when we're in the age of making freaking singularities, will we finally get access to thermal dynamics. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a hot minute. We'll get there eventually. Just uh, not for a, a little while. Like, call it 10 episodes tops, you know? It'll be more than 10 episodes. Let's just make us a few bricks. Just however many we can throw together out of what I have in my pocket. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to slake this lime. There, the beast has been slacked. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, like 11 episodes. That's a pretty solid guess. Yeah. Maybe 111. Let's be honest. Okay, so that would be... 
Okay, one stack of it would produce like 12, call it 13 bricks. So that's enough for like three of these. So I've got like six of these. That should be enough. And we'll keep the rest as clay balls because that's kind of the more useful form. I mean, I don't need very many refractory clay balls because I usually, uh, usually the big use of them would be making slime, but also they're useful for these tool sticks. So, yeah. No, I, I don't think a thousand. I don't think a thousand. But definitely more than more than a few. Yeah, let's let's be honest. <laughs> it's gonna be a minute, but that's the joy of JBTA. That's where I'm keeping those. All right. So, how's our pulp machine doing? Hmm. I don't think we'll be that bad off, but yeah, it'll be it'll be a trip. It will be a journey, if you will, into the abyss even. The abyss of time. Let's speed up the pressurization of the system a little bit. So we got a couple of stacks of pulp already. That's good at least. I don't think that'll be enough, but it's worth a try. Well, it's a few. Let's see, we need 7, 14, 21, 28. Yeah, okay, we've got enough. So next we just need a handful of iron. How are we doing on that? We're doing pretty good. To the moon, eventually. Eventually, we're not there yet. That isn't even next chapter. That's the chapter after next chapter. All right, and from there, well, I shouldn't have put away that iron because I'm going to need some more. And I'm also going to need just a handful of cobblestone. And that will make furnaces. All right, and from there, we are going to need some more masonry bricks. Let's see. Gonna need 8, 16. And we're also gonna need some wood chips. I don't have enough wood chips. Okay, that's easy ish to resolve. Yeah, we need some more planks anyway. Heh. <laughs> yes, pulp fiction, I like it. My pulp isn't fictional though. I think I just need one piece of wood chip. Alrighty then, and then I can take these, and from there, there's the tanks, and now a, another less annoying part. Just need to, I'm gonna need more masonry bricks for that, aren't I? Yeah, I'm gonna need also seven of these. I'm gonna need, I think that's it for pulp for now, but I am gonna need seven andesite. I don't have enough andesite. Well, it's been a while since we had to do that. Let's see if I can still remember where the volcano is just off of memory. It helps that we're living close enough to it that I can kind of see it through the mist. Yep, 
and thankfully I don't think Andesite suffers from gravity, so I don't need to worry about, like, creating proper supports when I mine this. All I need to worry about is creating proper lighting when I mine this. Which I'm short on torches. Well, I think that a tunnel through the uh, through the volcano is probably enough andesite to last for a little while. Considering that we use one of this for crafting table and we don't need crafting tables all that often. Yeah, there's a creeper somewhere. Creepers just randomly explode sometimes. It's fine. gonna need to, of course, smelt it. So, just make myself a nice stack of andesite. Two stacks of andesites, really. And a little bit more besides. Yeah, that should last for a good while. Okay, so then I'm gonna need seven logs, gonna need seven planks. I'm gonna need more planks than seven. Let's just grab like a stack. I don't have a stack. Oh, it's out of fuel. <laughs> Been a while since that happened. Of course, I'm going to need the Venerable Crafting Axe, which is on its last legs. Uh, ash. Also going to need ash. Where am I keeping the ash? Here am I keeping the ash. Okay, so that should do it for the first couple of stages. What am I missing? Why did... Oh, it's only one at a time because of right. Well, I should be able to do this, right? There. That's a bit annoying. Oh, well. And then... This... All right, and then I just need a handful of iron. And that should get us covered. Not quite. Need more wood. There we go. And from there, I believe it's just a matter of some additional wood. Yep. Time to retire this crafting axe, I think. Get a replacement. Oh, the arduous process. However, will we live without its great wisdom? Sad, sad day. Can we truly say that we're in good hands without the Veneral Crafting Axe? Can we truly... Oh, this is the wrong... Yeah, a fistful of iron. Fistful of lightning. It's been ages since I played Bioshock. Why did that reference come to line? To mind? 
Who knows? Alrighty then. Right, wood. And then we just have some basic workshops. Huzzah! Alrighty then. So from there, we just sort of weigh our stuff, clear out those wood chips so that they can keep on piling up for us. Although we don't need to be super religious about the wood chips anymore because we're not going to be using them for pulp. So long as I remember about the existence of the pulp machine, it should be generating at a sufficient rate. Like, we shouldn't ever really have to worry about pulp again for the rare times that I need it. All right, and let's decide. Yeah, this looks like a good place for it. So now I just need to run a pipe of crude oil down to it. Gonna need some more pipe than that. Do I have pipe sealant on me anymore? Looks like I don't. Do I have any blood in storage? Looks like I not. Alrighty then, so let's go and visit the blood bank. Hmm. Maybe it's time to run a pipeline of blood down here and get a local blood tank going. Eh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Excellent. That is just moving right along. We're getting tons of redstone in. Although no glowstone. Hmm. Is it just that the glowstone is rarer so it drains out before the reds before the redstone and or is it because it's out of the uh has it finished processing all the ore I chucked into it? Hmm. Hard to say. Well, I mean, you know people say no blood for oil? This is like an oil pipeline, but it's made out of blood. So it's anti-hippie as, as, ooh, yeah, Redline too. I've yet to watch Redline. I've only seen clips of it. But, uh, yeah, everything I've seen keeps on making me go, like, I should watch that every time I see clips. And I just keep forgetting to watch it. Like, whenever I'm in a movie... Whenever I'm in a movie watching mood, it just isn't on the list for whatever reason. But yes, I definitely need to watch Redline at one point or another. But yeah, yeah, I mean, a, a pipeline, an oil pipeline-like construction made specifically of blood is possibly as anti-hippie as you can get. So I implicitly support this project. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes terribly dumb is just what the doctor ordered, you know? All right. Yep. Did I show this off that I tried out these uh, red cable connectors on this as a... Hmm. Well, that didn't work. Still, it does at least share the signal so that they all pour together instantly, and sometimes that helps. Second best. What's the best, Blues Brothers? Blues Brothers is pretty damn good. I would support you if you said it was Blues Brothers. All right, there we go. That should be enough pipe. All right, so we need to hop on down below the base. Yep. And from there, where is... Okay, so that's the gasoline line leading into the table. 
So there we can just, yeah, I think we can just run it down. It's fine. Run it like straight on down. Yep. Ah. Yeah, Miyazaki is another. I've not watched much Miyazaki. I think I've watched uh, Spirited Away and Howl's Moving Castle, and that's it. All right, there we are. Crude oil connected. And yes, this is incredibly decadent. I really could probably get by just like, well, how much does an individual artisan cost? They cost a bucket each. Yeah. Yeah, really two buckets for the power connector. So having a pipeline is, it, it would, it would be a lot of bucketing making each individual mechanical artisan. Not that you need to make them all that frequently. A single mechanical artisan stack is going to go a long ways. Okay, and I don't think it needs any tools, so... First step, we're going to need... 12 copper coil blocks. Oh, I've not seen it that many times, but yes, it is an incredible movie. Alright. Yeah, for sure, for sure, go for it. Excellent music, great character writing. There is no reason not to share that. So we're gonna need, I think just 12 pieces of iron, but we're also gonna need more iron for the crafting anyway. We're gonna need a couple of sticks. I need to make more sticks. You're welcome. All right. And from there, I think I should be able to coil. Yeah, it's those. And it's, yeah, it's just like that. So why didn't it? Ah, eh, never mind. Who cares? Okay. So then we just need to. I should be able to get by with just 12 of them. Just like so. I made way too much cable, but oh well. I'll just put that like down here. Okay, and then I think I just need a butt ton of glass. That could be a problem. Yeah, nine per. So I can't make all that many just yet. Let's lock the recipe in and let's go get some glass. All right. Unfortunate, yeah. I, I guess that maybe I should have held up. Well, no. It's kind of a chicken and egg problem. You're either going to have the glass grind for making the mechanical artisans, or you're going to have the uh, the uh, parts grind for making another excavator for, you know, this. One way or another, you're just going to have to grind... One way or the other. All right. Yeah, this looks like a good place. Let's just dig up some beach. All right. Yeah, just down the line. That should be enough sand to filter my inventory. So, get rid of all that. Set all that and let's -a go. Uh, I don't have an automated sand source just yet. Um, 
I've spotted several deposits of silt in that first big batch of scanning that I did. But silt is, um, in my testing world, I've, you know, been experimenting with excavators and all. I, in my testing world, I've basically been playing ahead of where I am at the current point and, like, figuring out if there's any uh, flies in the ointment in the next step of things. And the excavator, the silt excavation process is very slow. You know how uh, when we set up the iron and the redstone, you know how, like, one one mineral, one of those geolosis minerals turns into, like, eight of the ore. And then that turns into, like, 16 of the iron. Or one one piece of cinnabar turns into, like, almost half a stack of redstone. Yeah, that's not the case. With silt excavation, it has a... Uh, it can basically... It usually produces either... What? I forget what the rates are. But it can produce either sand, gravel, or clay. I think clay is the most likely. Or possibly sand. But uh, it only produces them one at a time. Each turn of the old excavator bucket will produce you one sand. Or one... Uh, yeah, I could do a crusher. And honestly, a crusher would be much easier. But I want the clay source as well. I want infinite clay. So, yeah. But yes, sand... If I was specifically just after a sand machine, if all I wanted was sand, then yes, the crusher would be a much more efficient way of doing it. But no, I want the clay as well, so I might as well have that be my sand source. Unless I need hundreds of thousands of sand for something. In which case, yes, I'll have to set up a dedicated crusher. Yeah, it is slow. And remember that basically basically every excavator eats up four-fifths of a diesel generator all on its own. So the uh, silt excavator is kind of waiting on me to make the biodiesel setup and expand our power generation network, which is kind of waiting on me to automate the... Uh, I want to automate the basic engineering blocks first to make that easier. Which is where I'm stuck right now. Without the sand to make that easier. So it, it, it's another chicken and egg thing, you know? Unless I did the smart thing and just made a sand crusher. Yeah, no. I don't think so. I don't think there's any recipe for, like, clay blocks. Not that I've discovered so far. Hmm. I mean, you can get it by centrifuging sand, I guess. Very rarely. Hmm. Sandstone rock? Come on, J.E.I., stop lagging. No, I, that's not what I did. Sandstone rock, would that be... <sighs> God damn it, J.E.I., why are you not cooperating with me tonight? Huh. That is just a rock that straight up cannot be compacted into its source. Pity. But yeah, I guess I could get clay by centrifuging sand. I don't think the bee centrifuge is really all that expensive. Actually, wait, was that... Was that... Uh, show me that again. In that centrifuge recipe, was that also getting diorite rocks? It do. Hmm... So that would be a really good automation for creating diorite for making saw blades as well. Huh. Now all it needs is flint. And I would be able to fully automate the uh, automate the cog dancer. But no, there isn't a good source for that yet. Not until the next chapter.
Sorry, that was that was my brain finding something potentially interesting and herring off in a million directions. Which tends to happen when I'm doing something like this. Alright, that's at least a stack of sand. That's good enough for a little while. Let's just agglomerate our inventory a little bit so I can take a drink. No, don't get in my inventory, dirt. Alright, and let's of course get our safety suit back on. I'm not sure when this armor took damage. Yeah, well, they're... They're a centrifuge specifically for extracting honey out of... Out of uh, honeycombs. So I imagine they are fairly... Apocalypse proof against jamming. I mean, have you ever seen a deconstructed honeycomb? They are nasty. They're full of grit and bug parts and... Yeah. It ain't just like honey and wax in there. So a centrifuge built for that. For extracting honey out of that. That's a pretty damn tough centrifuge. It really would be faster if I just did this myself. Mm. Oh well. Hmm. Can I make a... Yeah, I could. Okay. So that's just gonna be... for smooth stone. As well as two planks, two paste, and a board. A slab. I put some paste in here, didn't I? Okay. Yeah, I'm a bit faster. Call me John Henry because I'm faster than this machine. Looks like it's just in here. Yep. There we go. You can have these as a consolation prize. And eat some delicious life giving tripes. Hmm. Yeah. Really makes you wonder about the alcoholic content in dwarf booze, doesn't it? Like, even accounting for the fact that Dwarf Fortress isn't running at, like, one... Mm. My hammer? I was using a shovel. But yeah, uh, even when you consider the fact that, like, a day is, like, 30 seconds... That still don't operate for long. Makes you wonder how high the alcoholic content really is. Hmm. Maybe dwarves just are capable of distilling things and fermenting them at super speed by glaring at all the little bacteria so hard that they're terrified of their lives. The dwarves alcoholism just makes makes everything happen faster because they want the booze now. Right, we need more iron. I said we need more iron. Please and thank you. Let's get a couple of stacks.
because we're kind of going through it. No, not that one. Yeah. Ultra yeast. Oh, that's it. That's it. They they cultivate they cultivate yeast within their beards. That's it. Yeah. It's like how the beard is a complicated sensory network that allows them to see in the dark. Ah, shoot. I Oh, no, wait, wait. I didn't need to do it with all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need to remember to preserve one. So I'm going to need 10 more copper coils and a bunch of redstone wires. So that's easy enough. Just going to need like that and then a bunch of that and huh, I didn't make enough wire. Okay. I should have some more wire in here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. I should move all that to the appropriate chest. I might have might have been a little bit excessive on my wire construction. Synchronous to you, maybe. <laughs> Yes, the wonderful, delicious beard yeast. That's the true secret, is it isn't fermented. It's just fruit juice. Instead, the dwarf sips their, their drink through their beard. And as they are sipping it, the yeast in their beard pre-digests the booze and turns it into booze as they're drinking. Yes, that's the secret. I need more redstone cable. Huzzah. That's just aluminum wire and redstone, I think. Yep. All right. Do I have any aluminum wire on me? Probably not. Do I have any aluminum on me? A little bit. Need to pick up some more from that defunct pump jack, probably. Is this the wire cast? Yes, it is. Yes, yes. Really, the beard... Going by the Dwarf Fortress lo lore, the beard is just this entire organ to the dwarves. It's probably like three quarters of their nervous system. It's like... Why do I have a gate in my inventory? It's just absolutely essential. No wonder their babies come out of the womb with beard in place, you know? When it's so essential to their life. Okay, let's guesstimate that that's enough for now. Oh, it's fine. Remember that I dumped it because there was still an entirely full box of it there. Okay, that should be that many sticks. And now make red wire coil, just like so. Ah, needed a few more than that. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. It, it's just this entire nervous system that happens to look like a beard and a liver for processing the oil for processing the alcohol made by the beard as a, as a byproduct of its of its uh, normal biological processes oh wait i had more than enough what am i thinking oh well so i want just 5 of them right cuz i want one mechanical artisan as the topper well we needed to restock our uh, red wire after that anyway because red wire is something that I want to keep on me. Because I'm using it pretty extensively. Well, we have a few extra copper coils. That's fine. No, wait. This is intermediary, too. 
this goes in here. All right, so now what we need next is we're gonna need to make a sample of the uh, of the type of uh, the mechanical artisan. Let me show you how it works a little bit. So the mechanical artisan needs these power acceptors. These accept not just power, but also liquids and items as well. And unfortunately, they have to be stacked straight up. So each face of these will be accepting like a pipe or a hopper or something, right? But uh, they have to be piled straight up with the mechanical artisan on top. So for the amount we build, this is the most we could shove into it. And uh, unfortunately, the way the inventory works is I'm probably going to have to insert into it through hoppers. I can't just pipe straight in because it's not friendly to gates. So, and because hoppers would pull from the layer above, this effectively means that I have one skip, two skip, three potential layers of item input here with these layers being preserved only for either output or for uh, liquid pipes. So this is a huge tower, but it's not as huge as it looks. So in order to program the mechanical artisan for what it's going to be constructing, I need to make one of the artisan tables. I, I, I need to make an engineering artisan table, artisan workshop, whatever. One of these is what I need to make right now in order to put in there for it to automate. So that means I'm going to need some machine frames. I should still have some nano machine frames. Yes, there they are. But aside from that, it's also going to need like a uh, machine from a it's going to need eight of those obsidian cogs out of the cog dancer. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How's the cog dancer doing? It's a little low on obsidian shard. It's running out of diamond shard. It's running out of gold. Okay, good on iron, good on bone. Running out of flint. Probably could use more pebbles. Probably could use more sticks. But diamond and gold is the current crisis unit that it's going to need more of. I am out of gold. Out of gold blocks, anyway. Well, let's just make what we can. That should at least get it by for a little while. Hmm. And the holistic spawn don't even need that. No, not quite yet. Not quite yet. But yes, it'll be time to go and get some more gold pretty soon here. Alright, so next for my machine frames. Gonna need some blocks of iron. Yep, it's time to go raid a ship because I don't have blocks of iron. Let's just... Uh, Arrange this a little bit more neatly. Put these in here for the moment. Okay, so. So, so, so. What ship have we not plundered nearby? Uh, that one looks promising. So let's switch to a tankier set. This is better for travel anyway. And let's get going. I 
I really should plunder into these bedrock chambers sooner or later. Uh, these bedrock chambers are millionaire, believe it or not. They're from uh, the quest line that the local alchemist does. Which we completely slacked off on and would probably need to restart by now because it's been a while. Okay, so... Just do our usual ship cheese. Take out the siding. Just to light up the interior a little bit. It looks like nothing has uh, populated in there. At least not in this particular section. Yeah. Hmm. Lucky us. I couldn't finish it because I didn't have a good source of iron ore. It's plain vanilla Minecraft iron ore. I think there might be a way I could find some now, though. Yeah, we have a Zombo up there. Hmm. Not on this level. I should have made more torches. I really hate that dynamic light messes with the overlay. Yeah. I think I technically just 360 no scoped him. After that? <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you think about it, a 180 no scope is more impressive because you have no way of like seeing the position that you're aiming for beforehand. Like a 360, you have all the time that you're turning around to adjust your aim and all that. Yeah, yeah. I did something more impressive. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Alright, so Mr. Shulkerbox, help us out with our situation here. It's not a shulker box. I should stop calling it a shulker box. It does not it, it it is it is not a proper entity. It cannot be pushed by pistons. It is significantly less useful than a shulker box because of that. It cannot make an you can't make an auto-filler out of these things. But yeah, I'm gonna keep calling it a shulker box. Now yeah, we'll throw those out. Throw those out. Keep those. Keep those. Yeah, keep those. Definitely keep those. I'm gonna need bronze pretty soon. Rest... I could care less about, but that would take effort, and I don't care enough to try. You, you don't know what a shulker box is? A shulker box is a vanilla Minecraft thing. It's been in the game for a while. It's, um... It's a box with the same behavior as you see with these things where um, it retains its inventory when you pick it up and you know you can use it to vastly expand your inventory they are made out of the shells of these creatures you find in the end dimension called shulkers so shulker boxes but um, yeah um, the difference is that Shulker boxes are, like I said, entities. They aren't technically blocks. 
So they're capable of being pushed by pistons and a couple of other entity-specific interactions that blocks do not do. Ah. Well, yeah, I think that's about the last time I played Straight Vanilla 2, but I kind of absorb it by osmosis just because I play modded Minecraft a lot. And, you know, once, once modded Minecraft gets up to the higher version, eventually you start seeing the vanilla stuff in there. And, like, you wonder, okay, is that vanilla or is that mod? And then you find out, oh, that's just vanilla Minecraft. Sweet. So I have a vague awareness of what's in vanilla Minecraft. That and also, you know, like... Sometimes I try and, like, make a redstone machine or something like that, and that often gets you down a vanilla Minecraft uh, rabbit hole. Yeah. Well, what are you playing right now, Fox? Um, let's see, probably the best 1710 packs I know of are, like, Blightfall, Blast Off, Crash Landing... So are you, are you, like, caught up in one of those? One of those packs that last for frickin' ever? No, I can just throw these factory blocks out. It's fine. And I can't blame you. 1710 honestly runs like a dream. I get a huge performance drop when I go up to, like, 112. So I very much do not blame you for sticking to the older version. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And they're all fantastic packs. I think Agrarian Skies 2 was my very first modded Minecraft uh, quest pack. It's, it's kind of what taught me a lot of the mods. It's a fantastic learner's pack. I still probably would recommend it as, as someone's, like, baby's first pack. So, is, is that, like, what you're playing? Or are you just not playing anything right now? Oh, it's not that bad. Once you figure out that channels are a limited resource, it it kind of explains itself. No, the only, the only I think, really arcane thing in Applied Energistics is the P2P buses. And maybe, like, figuring out the security terminal enough to get a wireless terminal going. There is. It's just not in-game. It's on Wiki. Like, AE2 has a pretty fantastic Wiki. Ah, good. We're going to need some lapis shortly anyway, so this is a pretty good... Yeah. Yeah. Bees are worse. Bees are the worst. You don't even need to... You don't even need to qualify it with the genetic stuff. You can just say bees are the worst, and you will not be wrong. I forget, did you actually need to do, to do bees in Agrarian Skies? 
Like, was that actually required by the quest pack? Or were they just kind of in the pack? Because as far as I can tell... Uh, as far as I can tell... Um, in... In Journey Beyond the Abyss... The bees are just kind of in the pack. I don't technically need to use them. Yeah. They're just kind of an optional... They would make several resources easier. Like, next chapter... Uh, we're gonna end up needing some nether stars. And there's a crafting recipe for them that's... Pretty... It's pretty intensive. Or I could breed some bees to make them for me. But frankly, I think I'd rather automate the... More intensive nether star recipe, you know? Ah, Diablo 2. I never completed Diablo 2. And I do kind of want to. But I'm kind of terrible at it. <laughs> so I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't do my, uh, my unfailing motivator of putting it up on the channel. I've played Diablo 2, I've just never completed it. This has Osmi in a minute, right? Alright. So why didn't it... Eh, never mind. Alright, alright. Uh, no wait, we, we should mark this ship. Yeah. Well, hot damn! You should put that up on your channel, man. You should show that off, by all means. Show off like your, uh, your, uh, your, your strat, man. Is that visible enough on the map? Yep. All right. So I believe that I can just teleport back. Yep. And yes, I have uh, reassigned my teleport point. No reason not to. All right. Take out all those miscellaneous ores. Where have I been putting the gems? Have I been putting them in here? I don't know. They must be in ingots, I guess. Hmm. No, not looking like it. Oh, they're unfamiliar. So they'd be somewhere on the, uh, down there, yeah. There we go. Okay, so then this is more going into the ingot chest. We can throw out those damn iron doors. And we're going to need to chisel up this iron. But beyond that, everything else we can just chuck into the crate as it is. And that should have us nicely stocked for a little while. Have I been putting the dispensers over here or more likely down here somewhere? Yep, there they go. Not sure if I'll ever use those dispensers for anything. I have two chests on me. Did I, like, forget one back at the place? Eh. Oh well. Ch 
chests are not terribly expensive. It's not a huge deal if I... Hmm. Well, there, there might be some sort of recycling machine. It's just that I've not unlocked it yet, you know? I haven't looked super far ahead in the pack. I try and uh, prevent myself from looking more than one chapter ahead so that I'm not, like, planning out my life to the nth degree, you know? How's this stock of wood doing? It's doing just fine. We're building up a nice supply of creosote. Alrighty then. So, 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 so. Uh, right, right, right. I was making... The... Yes, with these. The machine frames. That's what I'm making. Machine frames. So I'm going to need 12 of those. Also going to need a mechanical hopper, which... That needs tarred planks. Do I have any on me? Don't think I do. Ah, no, I do. Okay. Uh, I don't think I can. Let's see. Use? Nope. The only use I have of them is this. Whatever that is, and whatever that is, and uh, whatever that is. Yeah. Don't have a whole lot of uses for iron doors. Okay, so I need three masonry bricks, one stone rod. And a little bit of pulp. So then... Mechanical hopper. Hmm... The Gates of Doors sounds like a Dwarf Fortress civilization. Oh, right. Two steel. I... Uh, no, I'm not quite running out of steel yet. Oh, wrong shop. All right. And then we just need NG... Which means we're going to need four diamond cogs as well as four obsidian sawmill blades. I forgot about that. As well as another of those. Oh boy. It's quite a process we're getting into here. But thankfully, thankfully, we shouldn't need to do this too terribly often because we'll be able to automate three, six. We'll be able to automate up to nine recipes out of this one mechanical artisan. So, we'll be able to automate quite a few things. And even accept multiple different types of liquid. All right, before I forget, I should lock all these tanks and uh, lock the inventory. Yes. The real limiter here is the size of the mechanical artisan's internal inventory. Only one chest. So, it can only accept that many different types of items at once. Which, for nine different recipes, might not be enough. But yes, I should I should program the tank before I forget to. No, no saw tower just yet. No saw tower just yet. Yes, we'll just lock that tank to lava for a little while. Eventually I'll get a pipe over there. Alright, so, 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 saw, make them saws, one, two, three, four, then I'm going to need 32 of the diorite pebbles, where am I keeping those? Do I, yeah, there we go. Alright, so four saw blades. And I believe that it is just shards all the way, except for the iron tier, which needs four ingots of iron. But other than that, it should be straight sailing on down. So, gonna need more diamond shards. Have enough gold. 
have enough obsidian. Uh, I should have some bone shards in here somewhere, shouldn't I? Yeah, just not very many. Well, I made... Yep, there we go. Awkward. Okay. Keep some of those on hand. And flint. Gonna need more flint, I think. Not quite yet, though. It really sucks that I have no means of making automatic flint just yet. Okay, and then I just need some iron shards, which I don't seem to have in storage. Okay, flint, bone, iron, gold, diamond. Diamond is the next one. <laughs> yes. Ah, the wonderful dance of our people. Oh, right. Need more iron than that. You need 12 more. But yeah, saw blades are something that you make a lot less often than cogs. And you don't make cogs all that often anyway. So I just haven't bothered with a cog tower just yet. Or a saw tower just yet. But we might one day. Who knows? So then I'm going to need four of these ones. Yes, indeed. And I can dance if I want to. I can leave my friends behind. Because if they don't dance, and if they don't prance, then they're no friends of mine. Okay, then I just need a bunch of wood. I should transport this wood over in here. Okay, but that was made in blacksmiths. Oh, right. Also need... Also need one of those. Right, 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 right. Of course. How dare I? How dare I presume? Mm, da, 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 stick tier. One of these. All right, and then I'm just going to need a bunch of that. Make one more stack of uh, refractory brick. Ah, I had some in here. I forgot about those. Oh, well. And now I forget about the stack in there. And it'll just be a cycle of forgetfulness. Let's see how our little machine has done. It has done quite well. The wonderful thing about automation, even slow automation, you leave it, you forget about it, and you come back to a bounty. I'm also probably going to need some more wood. Might be time to cut another sequoia soon. If only because we keep stealing it away from the coke. Uh, 
All right, now let's see here. Step one. Oh, right. I didn't need more brick after all. I didn't need more masonry brick, I should say. And I really didn't need all that much more pulp. Ah, well. Lovely thing about overestimating is it'll just sit in our box for next time. And then these three. And these five. Can I just use these? Sure can. All right. And then... Make the tank. And from there, I think I'm just going to need one brick. And then I am going to need, I'm going to need these, put the pulp away though. That should be good on pulp. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I have work tables already. Oh, I have crafting tables already. Huh. Yeah, I made a bunch of work tables at one point. I think that was, uh, what did I make those for? I think I made those when I was making the cog dancer. Yeah, because those uh, those auto crafters use uh, use crafting tables. So I've just made a whole mess of crafting tables at one point. And yeah, they're still kind of littering around everywhere. Let's kind of agglomerate. There we go. All right, so have that, have that, have that, have that. Just need a little bit. Don't need much of anything, I don't think. Yep. Okay, there we go. Then I just need these. And then I think I'm good. If I get the right workshop. There we go. Beauteous, isn't it? And... Yeah, there's no mistakes, just happy little accidents. We're we're going to Bob Ross up on this bitch here. Why don't you just paint me some happy little automation? Going to conquer the world. Going to pump all our resources all over the place. It'll be great. So, before we put that into our mechanical artisan, we're going to want to put this right down here next to our designer table because we're going to need to use this for something. We're going to need to make us some, what are they called? Blank design patterns? Yeah, we're going to need to make us some of these. We're going to need a butt ton of paper. Hmm. Do I have an easier paper recipe yet? Carpenter. That's pretty easy. All right. So let's make us a ton of wood pulp. And let's just kind of, yeah, it makes a very nice clang. Okay, so that looked like it used eight. So eight, 16, 24. Yeah, I'm gonna need a ton of paper. And I've already tested, I can't automate the drying racks with hoppers. So, yep, gonna need more pulp. Because I'm gonna need to make a few of those blank patterns. I'm probably gonna wanna make just however much I have lapis for right now, really. Alright, so one bucket of water uses how many? Remind me. Uses four, so I need to make 15 more. Two, three, four, five, six. And it'll be kind of draining out a little bit at a time. Hmm. 
Yeah, carpenters are one of those machines where they're slow and they're fast enough that manual use isn't super painful, especially considering the alternate recipes for these things that we're making with them. But they're just slow enough that I want to make a million carpenters, each of them programmed for one thing that are just running in the background instead of the system that we got going on now. But unfortunately, carpenters are one of those things that we're going to need a ton of those machine blocks for, and it's kind of waiting on the mechanical artisan. So, so it goes. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Well, not just one for each liquid. If you're fully automating, you need one carpenter for each recipe. Because there's no means of reprogramming them on the fly. So if you're making full automation, then if there's a if there's a recipe that calls for like three different things out of the carpenter, then yeah, you're going to need three carpenters. <laughs> oh, that's just the old precognition. Don't worry about it. It's just my uh, procedural analysis of your personality telling me what you're going to say before you say it. Or in JoJo terms, your next line is, that's bullshit. It probably isn't. Yeah, at this point, you're just waiting. You're waiting long enough that, uh, that you can prove me wrong the old-fashioned way of just waiting out the stream lag. I'm on to your game. All right, so that's quite a bit of paper we have built up. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. All right, so... Yep, we just need to... Yeah, we can make a bit more paper. Yeah, we can make 10 of these worth, and that should be enough to last for a little while. So... More paper for the paper god. I mean, to be fair, you're, you're typing like... You're, you're typing a pretty... Uh, you're typing a pretty good mouthful right there. The only real, like... The only German phrase I know that's associated with Einstein is Gedanken experiment, his thought experiments. I'm sure that there's tons of German phrases like that that are associated with him. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more. Uh, yes. Note that now that we've placed an engineer's workshop next to our designer's workshop, it has this little thing in the corner now. If we... Well, I could just look at one of my other ones. But yes, when it's not linked up to a designer's workshop, it does not have that interface. And what that means is I'm just going to steal the tools out of this one for a moment to put them in there because it's going to need them too. What that means is that once we craft up these blank patterns here, we can take them and put them in those slots up there. Just shift right click them up there. And now if we make a recipe for this thing, which I should have a lava tank here, right? Cool. Oh. 
Spooky action at a distance. Yep. That makes sense. So now, if I take, say, a bunch of redstone, a bunch of iron, a bunch of copper, and a bunch of mechanical components, if I have them on hand, which I don't think I do. So let's just make some. And then I go over here and I create some redstone engineering block. Note this, a created design pattern. So yeah, I can take that. And I think that has a couple of uses. I think that if I clear this off, is there some way of using it to manually like, do I, let's see. Is it put in here? No. No, I don't think there's any way of, it's just for the automation, I think. But yes, that is the thing that is gonna go into our uh, auto crafter. So we're just gonna need one of these. Let's also get one of these. So for that, I'm gonna need my copper gears. Thankfully, I have just enough to make our recipe. So then I can do this and get the design pattern. Alrighty then. Mm -hmm. The three spaces top right? No, not those. I don't know what those are for. I do not know what those do. All right, and yeah, let's also get heavy blocks. So, oh yeah, also pistons. Yes, we want to auto craft pistons. So for that, I'm just gonna need some cobble and some wood. I'm sure they do something. Hell if I know what. No, actually, I don't wanna use this wood. If possible, I want to use jungle wood because jungle wood is what we will eventually automate. Yes, yes, yes. It's it's Monty Python's confuse a cat in a slot. Yes, good. So then I need my NG blocks again. I have my NG blocks on me. Okay, so pistone. Definitely want to auto craft these. And yeah, I think I would need to, in fact, well, let's see here. Do I want to do the heavy engineering block in this tower? Yeah, I kind of do. Okay, so let's make some pistons in order to make the recipe for the heavy engineering block because I do think I need literally all the stuff in order to lay the recipe out. So I'm gonna need to make four pistons, which I need to make some more light engineering blocks for, which isn't a huge deal. We can do that literally just right over here. Okay, so five of those. Well, I only need four of those. Okay, and we're gonna need some more wood. There we go. Make the pistons. Okay. And from there, let's see here. The heavy NG is four pistons and the rest is just steel and bronze and electrum, okay. Let's just keep one of those on me so I can remind myself more easily than searching it up. So I'm gonna need four bronze. Yep, four bronze, 
gonna need five pieces of electrum. Gonna need a bunch of steel. And put the rest of this away. As well as the steel mechanical components. And from there, I think I can just do this. Okay, anything else I want to put into this table? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I got lucky and I had a uh, liquid silver source. I think I still have the chest for that out there somewhere still. Oh, also, this is, this has been running way too long. Let's turn that off. I probably run down like a ton of my wool, a ton of my oil. Yeah. Let's see here. Where did I? Uh, you should be, if you haven't found, had any luck getting a liquid source of silver, then there should be, let's see, that's my current. Oh, wow. Did we suck this dry already? Damn, these do not last long. Not when you have a proper diesel gen going. Let's see, was this it? Uh, yeah, here we are. Yep. This is my nice little uh, box of silver that I have. I guess I'll grab one. Damn. All right, let's go take a look at just how good we've done on our copper. Now that we've sucked two entire teeth dry, a whole pair of a whole pair of tits. Oh my god. And we got 2600 in storage as well as a full box full. Hmm. How much goes into a full box? It's like a thousand it's like twelve eighty in a single chest, isn't it? Something like that. So we've got like one dub and a half about of copper. Not very much. I could have sworn that like I had something like eight hundred thousand millibuckets in that vein. That should be worth like five thousand ish ingots, shouldn't it? Hmm. Regardless. That is the last of my copper for right now until we, uh, yeah, 1728. Okay. Okay. Well, 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 uh, what the heck was I doing? I was getting ready to make the, uh, the, uh, the casing recipe. Yes, 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 yes. So casing, keep that on my. Yeah. So we might need to melt some more bronze. Or at least we need to make some more bronze blocks, yeah. So let's just melt nine of these. That'll make four blocks. And that should be all we need, right? Right. Yeah, 144 for ingot. But I think I had something like 825,000-ish millibuckets in that source. Which should be something like 5,700 ingots. Well, then again, also, this isn't the first time I've extracted from it. I think it was something like I extracted a half a chest of it from there. So that's like a thousand, call it copper. And then it would be like 3,000 got up to here because it was still filling up that chest when I turned that pump on. Okay, yeah, that's about right, I guess. Hmm. Huh, I made some gears. Nice. 
Ah, uh, this is... Yeah. Hmm. I'm probably going to have to make, like, a custom smeltery just for making bronze. Heck, I'm probably going to have to make a... Well, no. Hmm. So I have a liquid... I have a liquid... Iron source next to two sources of liquefacted coal. And I was thinking I would use that to get some starter steel, but with how badly the pump jack's conversion rate is, it would only get me something like 10 stacks of steel in total, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Very hot drinks. Be sure to let that cool down before you sip. Hmm, so then that needs also 12. All right, so then do I have enough of those? Probably not. Yeah, definitely not. All right, so let's put this away, that away. Let's also put this away for now. Yep, just right there. You can at least store those pistons for later. Or even better, I could turn them into redstone engines. I'm short on pulses right now, I think. Yeah. We'll, we'll convert those into redstone engines when the time comes. All right, so for right now, I need more redstone. More of everything. I'm probably going to need more mechanical components. You know how it goes. All right. Let's start with that and see where that gets us. Okay, so can I then make my a sufficient amount of light engineering? I should just need to make four of them, right? But yeah, we just need enough that we can have all, you know? Enough to make the recipe to program the damn machine for. Okay, so from there, is a carpenter easy to make from there? It kind of isn't. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll wait on that. I will sleep on that for now. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll sleep on that for the moment. For the moment. We'll call that good enough to get started. Otherwise, I'll be here all damn night until I have all nine recipes filled out. when I just want to get started, you know? Alrighty then. So, 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 so. Now, we can go and we can first put our engineer's workshop in there. And then we can start putting all these patterns in here. We should hold off on that. So, redstone, light, heavy, piston. Let's put piston before heavy. And it doesn't particularly matter. So, you want to be careful about what mode you set this to. Keep will... I don't think that'll really... Uh, okay, okay. These slots on here are the output slots. If you set it to keep, it'll just pile up here, and the only way to get it out is to take it out manually. Manual? No, wait. What does keep do? I don't know what keep does. Manual does what I just said. Inventory, however. 
if we program a slot in the inventory for it, it'll put it in the internal inventory. And since a lot of these design patterns are interdependent on each other, that's what we want to do. I might have this on manual. But yes, that also means that we need one to program their input slots for. One of each of these, I should say. And note that once we place it down once, it creates a ghost and it locks that slot just because that's the mode we have it set to. So, when it auto-crafts these, it will go into the inventory and it will fill up to one stack's worth. And that's what we want it to do for now. We just want to keep one stack of each of these on hand. And right, I have the, I have the casing set to manual for right now because I'm not gonna wanna hold on to that, at least not for the moment. So, 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 so. Now we need to poke a hole in the floor because we're gonna have our power coming in on the bottom. We need to poke a hole in the side. Well, let's see here. Hopper, space, hopper, space, hopper. So we want a hole in the side over here because we're gonna run up lava like right there. So we're gonna need one of these. I need more wire relays. Shoot. Uh, we'll hold it off on that for now, but I think one should do us. Also gonna need some more fluid pipe. Let's just convert it all. It's fine. There we go. All right, so first of all, let's just kind of poke that right there just so we know what we're looking for. Run that down as well as poke that in there. Yeah, I need more relays. Well, maybe I don't, maybe I don't. Okay, so relay into there, and can I just... Okay! Power achieved. Now, what's the most convenient spot? Probably down there. Yeah. No reason not to. I'm gonna need some pipe plugs. I need more pipe plugs. Get on there. All right. And then I think I can get it over that wire. No, that would be really close to intersecting, so need to jank it on over like a couple spaces to where it's sagging a bit more. Yep, that's safe. All right, and then just kind of Okay, so that's lava and power sorted. Next, it is going to need a set of its own tools. And technically there is, oh wait, it's not quite sorted. It needs to go over from like in here. Now it's sorted. And if we look in the liquid tank, yep, there we go. So it's also gonna need a set of its own tools and mechanical uh, artisan automation has a mechanic in it for automatically repairing the tools. But as far as I can tell, it's disabled in this pack or rather it's disabled by default and Austin Supercar did not enable it. Cause in all my testing in my, in my test world, I could not get the auto repair tool feature to work. So that is one aspect that will not be completely automated is 
we're going to have to check the tools from time to time to make sure that they don't need replacement just yet. So the only remotely difficult tool to make for the artisan is the solderer. Arty solderer. Put that on our... We're also going to need a hammer and a set of pliers, I think. Yeah, that's what we need. And if I really wanted to maximize the amount of, or, or rather minimize the amount of maintenance it's ever going to need, I could go for like uh, platinum. Platinum has slightly more durability, but I don't really have much platinum ore right now, I don't think. Yeah, and you can't, oh no, I, I do have some. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah, you can melt platinum ore, but you can't melt those platinum uh, blocks of metal that you get from from the ships. These things. These have too high of a melting temperature. Lava cannot get them. I need a tank of liquid pyrothium in order to melt those. Or more practically speaking, I need some sort of alternate means of converting blocks into ingots. Which I don't know of any. And unfortunately, I don't think they can be hammered. Like, even if I go into their... Yeah, I, I don't even know their base form yet. But if I go... No, not chisel. What? Yeah. So if it is possible to, like, hammer them or chunk them up like I do for the gold blocks and stuff like that, over on, like, one of the anvils, I don't... The recipe for it isn't unlocked right now. Yeah, you know... It, it really it really appeals to my demographic, especially. Have a nice varied diet of metals all around. Why do you not seem to be receiving power? Oh, because I turned the generator off. Derp. Of course. But yeah, okay, so let's... Screw this diamond newbie stuff. Let's get our fancy platinum. Yeah. So, silver, steel, nickel, lead. Come on. Where is the good stuff? Flat. As well as... Okay. Oh, wait. Solderer is the last one that I need. There we go. All right. So, the only remotely hard thing about the solderer is making this heating coil. So, that's going to need some of these magma shards as well as the nano machine frames. And I think I have just enough shards to do it because each of those... Each of these little uh, magma shards... Oh, no, wait. Okay, so I only need the one. Never mind. It was less complicated than I thought it was. So, I'm just going to need a ton of slime once again. Hmm. Well, no, I only need 20, don't I? Yeah, I only need 20. Okay, cool. So just take those, and I need to find where the heck I put my brick mold. There we go. Pinch of glowstone. And then it's just a matter of... A little bit of granite. Proper granite. Has to be granite. Uh, I don't have any on stock, so let's just chunk up some of this because I'm lazy. There we go. Throw it out. It's fine. 
Okay, and that should get me the heating coil. Oh, wait, redstone block. Right, and I'm going to need two redstone blocks, in fact. All right. Okay, so from there, I'm just going to need a bunch of iron and the platinum. It should be ready to pour. Ah, isn't that a beautiful sight? While that is pouring, I am going to be right back real quick. Aha! I have returned! I surprised you, didn't I? Yes! Oh, I fully paused it. Shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Oh well, it's not a huge deal. I don't need much platinum, I just need a little bit. I'm also gonna need a little bit of iron for that solderer. And other than that... I should... Let's see here, I'm gonna need some... Yeah, I just need the, uh, just need the tier twos, don't I? Okay, sweet. All right, so then I just need all the tier two tool rods that I have on hand. I should have more than that. Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right. <clears throat> And then we can just run on down. You know, thinking on it, the fact that I programmed the recipes with diamond tools, I don't know if that's going to interfere. Don't know. Hmm. Well, only one way to find out. Worst comes to worst, we made a couple of tools unnecessarily. Oh, well. Hello, Fox. Welcome back. Alrighty then. So. 
we have a lovely new set of tools that should last a good long while. Because I imagine this machine is going to run fairly slowly. At least as long as we're running it off of a Billcraft pipe, it will. All right, I forgot. I don't know why this thing always seems to disconnect every time I boot the pack. Oh, well. Oh, well. So, 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 so. Into the artisan you go. Yup, yup, that's the plan. And, right, you too. <laughs> I mean, I've I've done worse on that on that record, yeah. Not since I've become the family's unofficial chef, but yeah. If I'm just cooking for myself, I will often just skip breakfast. <clears throat> okay, and now I think it's just a matter of uh, getting the resources in place. Let's run a quick test run, though. Of course. So let's give it like a stack of iron, a stack of redstone, a stack of copper, and all the mechanical components we have. This will both program the slots and allow us to test fire it. So if we just chunk all those into there, this should allow it to produce redstone engineering blocks just as soon as we give it some juice. Ah, yes, look at that. The ominous red glow of industry. Beautiful. All right, and look at that. Look at that. So it's climbing up slow and steady, and it's creating. All right. So we've configured this thing completely correctly. Wonderful news. So now what we need to do is we need to get the resources flowing into here. So you remember what I said about how gates aren't friendly with this thing? Yeah, gates can read this inventory all right, but they can only read like whether the inventory is 75% full. They can't read whether the slot they want to insert into is full. So. We need to do the insertions into this thing with hoppers in order to get around that issue. And I need to make more hoppers. I need to make more hoppers. Since we're kind of at another stopping point for industry at the moment, let's just shut that off. There's really no point in running it when we don't have the copper pump jack running or any any resources really coming in. We've turned the iron industry off. We've turned a lot of the other industry off. So really it's just running kind of, it's running the oil industry really is what it's running. And the oil industry is kind of locked at the moment because our build craft fuel is all full up. This fuel is full up rather. I'd need to either yeah, I need to run the lasers a whole lot to get that going again. To empty that out. I should probably void this, put a void safety on this tank, but eh. Then it would just eventually lock up when that tank is full and voiding the both of them. What's the freaking point, you know? Okay, so, 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 duh. Why did I open that up in the first place? Uh, we're going to need a ton of chests. Right, right, right. That is what we're going to need. So, 24, 32. That sounds like a good amount to me. Yeah, especially considering we've got the ingots, or the nuggets, I should say, in place already. So, how many does a single bucket of water make? Five, hmm, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty 
34, 35. Oh, let's let that run down and make sure. Oh, right. I need power. I need power to, con to do that. I'm also probably going to have to make some glue because I'm going to make a ton of hoppers. Well, no, I've got a decent amount of glue. We'll see. We'll see what we can assemble and if it's good enough. Okay, so... Right, hopper is also going to need wood. Okay, that's probably good enough, really, for the moment. And let's cook a few more. Let's cook however many this will let us. There we go. Out of tool sticks. Good enough. And at this point, we can just kind of turn our power off again. Really wish I had that comparator. Need that comparator so I can just leave the damn thing on. All right, so, so, so. I am going to need a couple of chests. Also going to need some transport pipe. We're going to need some more gold. Yes. I know. I know as soon as you have those item frames, all your productivity just drops off the chart. <laughs> item goes spinny spin. Let's start with a stack of pipe and see where that gets us. Oh yeah, we're also going to need some extraction pipes. Those are real easy. You're giving it a try? Oh well. I mean, my man, make sure you record yourself, put your videos up. Do it. Oh, what's your thesis going to be about? Okay, so. Yep, I might need to move the cog dancer sooner or later. Um, you know, now that I'm saying it. Now that I'm saying I need more pipe plugs, it's time to make more pipe plugs. Yep. Did I make any spare structural pipe? I guess not. Do I have any structural pipe? I guess not. Oof. Well, that'll solve the pipe plugs for a little while, but I... Okay, so structural pipe. Remind me, how do I make that? Just cobble and, gra and gravel. Nice! Awesome. Yeah, that was bizarre. But yeah, that's that's an amazing accomplishment, man. Hmm. Huh. So it's it's hypergolic is the term, right? Hmm. Usually when I think of hypergolic thing, that makes me think of, like, self-igniting rocket engines. Is that, like, what you're kind of looking into the uses of it for? Or are you just, like, writing your thesis, documenting their properties and, and like, what they are and how to more easily manufacture them and stuff? I have no idea how a chemistry thesis goes.
Ah. Okay, yeah, we can line it up like. Ah. So, so wait, you mean it doesn't even need like. It doesn't even need like. It doesn't follow the triangle of fire. It doesn't need oxygen, ignition, and fuel. It, it, it just... Wow. Ah, yeah, it needs oxygen. Okay, cool. Okay, so... Yeah, I think I want to work the hoppers from the top down. That'll prevent me from getting myself in trouble better, I think. Okay, so now I need gates. I need wire. So gate on here with wire. I think I want to keep this 50% full. So start running that on down. Oops. No. Ah, uh, won't let me take it off. Oh, well. Just need to be slightly more careful. Which means I should only make the mistake ten dozen times. Okay, so... Then I need a pulser. Ah, neat. So, when blue pipe signal is on, pulse the pipe. Now. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll have it on this level, because that leaves me a little bit of room to, like, make automation here and... Hmm. Yeah, true. If you, if you can't control it, if you... Like, if you can't prevent it from firing off, like, under any condition, then, yeah, I guess that isn't that useful. Okay, so then let's run here. That should line up, right? I think it do. Unless it needs to, like... Can I get on top of that? No, it doesn't let me. Okay, but I think that lines up, so I need to do it one more. Yep, that looks about right. Hmm. Why? Okay, it's fine. Pipe wire is cheap. I don't mind wasting a little bit of it. Damn, I'm out of that stack I picked up already. Okay, so pipe pulser. Also need a unit of white on this. And another gate. So that gate will say if you contain No, I, I think that I, I'd actually wanna run run that condition down further down the line and have this take priority. So let's just take that gate off then. Is it not gonna let me? Oh, it do. Wow, okay. It just janks the graphic. Oh, but I do need a gate down there anyway. So that one I want to say, if you contain less than 75%, emit blue signal. That one I want to... Why is that on? That shouldn't be... Oh. Okay, so that one I want to say, if blue signal, pulse the pipe. 
Okay, we have iron coming in. Coming into the hopper and being sucked into the inventory. Okay, next step, let's get uh, copper going in. So let's just... Hmm, I could have lined that up better. Yeah, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Let's turn this off. Let's just... Ooh, wow. Well, that's how you make a, uh, a really fast pulsar clock, I guess. Uh, let's say when redstone off. Or, no, when redstone on. Yes. Or even better, I could just take this condition off. Okay, let the pipe clear. And I can take this off. And just put it right here. And that'll line up a bit better. Yeah, and I can even... And that'll jank the pipe a little bit less. So then... Run pipe wire on down. Give condition. There we go. Hmm. Okay, cool. Check the hopper if something fell in. Ah. Thank you. Yeah, that should be working. Okay. So then we can place the next one here. And we can just start running that pipe on down. Let's just run this down all the way to the copper line. And uh, the reason that I'm making these intermediary chests here is so that uh, when it comes time to expand the factory further on down, then I can just expand the line off of uh, off of these chests. It allows me split offs like a Factorio main bus, and that is essentially my uh, my design philosophy for this stage of the base. Well, you know them better than I do. I'm not even sure what song you're going for. Okay, and I need to go and pick up some more pipe wire. Ah. You're talking about I've got friends on the other side? Maybe? Yeah, I've never seen Princess and the Frog, if that's what you're talking about. And yeah, I'm going to need more pulsers. So let's just assemble these pistons that we have into them real quick. I should just be able to take these. Then I think I have enough gears on hand. If I just... Oh, let's red in... Yeah, there we go. And yes, I'm probably going to need way more pulsers than that. I should just... I should just uh, bite the bullet and make a whole mess of them right now.
Ah, oh, neat. Ah, uh, yeah, I made some golden chipsets too, didn't I? Well, let's make some gold gates out of them. Give the laser something to do. All right, so on this one. So on less than 75% full, give me blue signal. Run blue wire down. Just curve it on down there. Next, pulsar and gate. Wind blue signal, pulse the pipe. And now just on down the line over here and we're already almost out of wire again. Gate on here, any old gate will do. Less than 50%, create blue signal. Yep, need more wire. I probably should have picked up a couple of stacks. Hmm. I just used up pretty much all my lapis in making all those design documents, didn't I? No, I've got a good deal. I've got a good deal left. So I can make a bunch more wire. It's fine. We might as well put that on the cooker, too, while we're thinking of it, though. How's our pulp doing while I'm in the neighborhood? It's a building. It's slower now that it's emptied out the chest, I imagine. Yeah, let's just pick up a couple of stacks. Yeah, now the rate of pulp production is limited to the uh, rate that the uh, rate that the uh, garden close will make it, minus whatever rate that we are uh, using it up for the lava machine. Yes, lasers, very exciting lasers, freaking laser beams. All I need is sharks. Oh, sir, why won't you get on there? No. Oh, because this isn't an extraction pipe. A derp. There we go. Okay, and now wind blue signal. Produce pulse. And here we have copper coming in. Huzzah! All right, so that's already filling up. Good, 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 good. Next, redstone. And I am going to need more transport pipe now. I'm going to need more glass at some point, too. Oh, boy. Do I have any more sand out of that one big expedition's worth? Not really. All right, so... Just going to need to... No, I should run it down from there. Yeah. 
And honestly, I want to run it really from here just so that I don't have to like put a plug on every damn space. Well, no, if I... Yeah, that, that won't do. Has to run from here. Um, I don't have a personal, a personal, um, a personal use crusher at the moment, in fact. That is a unfortunate flaw of my base, that I am hoping that, uh, this basic automation will help me fix. I did, but we ended up using it to first, um, we ended up moving it over into the iron production. Yup. The personal use crusher is currently being, uh, the machine that was a personal use crusher is uh, sitting over there in our iron smeltery at the moment. You know, we've already used a couple good thousand iron. Maybe I should turn the iron smelter right back on. Indeed. Well, let's just... Take out a bunch of gates. So, gate here. Gate way downtown over here. And this is quite a long pipeline. I think I'll limit this to 50%. Just because that copper one gets awful damn full. And it's already getting further ones. And yeah, really, there's no reason to worry about it. Having a huge buffer anyway. The consumption rate will be the same either way. In the end. Just have a nice on pulsar down there. Wind blue signal produce pulse. And then we run the line all the way downtown back to our storage. Don't forget that this needs to be an extraction pipe. Give it a gate, give it a pulsar. Give it just a sample of the goodness of pipe wire, and we'll say wind blue signal, produce pulse, and start running our wire on back. And this should be the last of the really long lines I need to, to lay for a little while. It's kind of iron, copper, and redstone are the base resources that go into a lot of how these things go. All right, gate on this end. Win less than 50, produce blue signal. And here comes the redstone. And that should be actually redstone engineering blocks completely automated. And once it starts building up a more supply of redstone there, yep, yeah, there it goes. So we now have redstone engineering blocks completely done. Look at that. 
we officially have the first engineering block completed. And all we need to do to get the next one is uh, we're going to need to figure out a source of gears and mechanical components. And yeah. All right. Well, it's been a solid couple of hours and it's been a solid amount of progress. So it is been a long damn night for me after a long damn day. I think that this is the point that I'm going to call it a night. Fox, it has been wonderful talking to you. And uh, don't play JBTA too much. It, it may be that you're thinking that that, uh, that pyrolytic compound that you're looking at ain't really much use for uh, making much more than plastic, but you never know. And hey, if nothing else, doing the experimental part of your thesis research means you get to burn the hell out of shit. And that's always fun. But yes... If you do, if you do record a video, definitely let me know. I want in on that. As soon as you post a video, I am definitely giving you all the shout out, my friend. And I'll be keeping an eye on your progress. Mm-hmm. This just feels so damn good, watching that number go up. Oh, it must not have sufficient power anymore. Red, red flames, yes! <laughs> I imagine that the hardest part was not cackling like a maniac and throwing up your hands and starting to dread incantations of the fell power you are playing with. Okay, why you know? Why, you know. You have all the resources you need. Why, you know. Hmm. Ah, yes, that's just for your personal use. Well, then you can cackle all you like, I imagine. We're in inventory mode. Okay, take everything out of inventory. What do you take? Oh, you take mechanical components. Okay, we don't have redstone engineering blocks completely, completely automated. We've got a little farther ways to go. I forgot that they also needed components. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, I think that this is the point where I'm gonna call it a night. So, next time, we will figure out some sort of automation for mechanical components, and then we will have the first resident engineering block completely automated. In the meantime, Fox, you have yourself a lovely night and a wonderful evening. Everyone else watching, yes, lovely progress. Everyone, have yourself a beautiful day. I will see you on the next one.